Hi, I just arrived in Sundsvall. It's a city about 200 kilometers from my city. I'm gonna work here on the theater as a singing coach, and today we're gonna have a collation. That means that the actors are gonna read the manuscript, the libretto, if you like, and uh, all information about the show and all people involved from masks, scenography, director, all those things are gonna be on this collation. So let's see how it goes. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Roger. I just came back from Sonsvall. It's been a long day, I'm pretty tired, but uh, it was a nice day. Nice, nice to meet old friends that I've worked with before. And uh, a lot of information, a lot of good information to set up this theater that we're gonna work with. And the theater is Pippi Longstocking. Pippi Longstocking is by the Swedish author Astrid Lindgren and celebrates 75 years this year, 2020. People long stalking have been translated to 100 languages. I think Astrid Lindgren is the third most translated woman of all time. And about 10 or 15 years ago, they made a theater play out of it, which this theater have done some changes to, to fit in the age of 2020. It's about people long stalking, the world's strongest girl and her friends, you should call them, Tommy and Annika and their parents and some police and and her father that is a pirate and all those things. It's a family show. Most of it is theater. There are songs in it. Songs made by great composers. Uh, Gio Riedel, Dutch-Swedish composer and great bass player. And also John Johansson, who wrote the famous theme of Pippi Longstocking. John Johansson was a fantastic uh, pianist and made uh, recordings of Swedish folk song into sort of jazz tunes. Marvelous uh, playing and interpretation. Unfortunately, he died very young, I think, in a car accident. Anyway, the theater is gonna be great, I hope. But because of the strange time we live in, with the lockdown and everything, we have to be very careful when we rehearse. So on this collation, you can see that there are a few people, I think we were 14 people at the place, and about 20 people following the collation on the web. And there you can see that there are about 35 people working with a production like this. It's not only the people on stage and the sound engineer and so on. It's people making the mask, the costume, the scenography, the marketing, the sales, producer, director, and me. What do I do? Well, I'm a rehearsal pianist and a vocal coach on this show. So I'm going to work about 25 days with the actors on this rehearsal period to play piano in the show so they can rehearse it and also come with tips and tricks for the vocals if they need it. I know since before that a few of them are great singers, which makes my job both difficult and easy because a great singer, a good singer with good singing technique and good interpretation demands more than a rookie, of course. On the other hand, they are so skilled that maybe I don't have to say much. Maybe I don't have to coach them at all. Just make them comfortable. One of those singers are Robert, who in this case plays the teacher and also Pippi's father, the pirate. So here's one of the actors, Robert. Oh, How darling. are you? Oh, please <laughs> <laughs> I'm very well. Uh, this is just a collation of uh, the show uh, we're, we're having. Mm -hmm. uh, do you get a grip of the show? Yes. I have, think have you read the manuscript before? I read the manuscript, uh, and it's a reworked version 
and I think it's it's excellent that they've started the show with folk, with focusing on the friends Tommy and Annika. Uh, it's very interesting and uh, much more, I think, playable approach. Uh, I think we get a clear vision of uh, what how they want to direct it. And a really clear vision of the set, the costume, the mask design, and the music, may I say, is phenomenal. Oh, cool. Yeah. Now, with the pandemic, yeah. the premiere is moved, yes. but the rehearsal period is still the same time. And then the premiere is like seven months, eight months after the rehearsal period. Yeah. What it's, do you think about that? Is, is it going to work? Well, uh, I think it's going to work. It gives you, actually, I think we can use it to our benefit by using the time in between playing it early and then use those months in between to maybe do some character de yeah. development and so forth. I think it's going to work out. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Many of these people come from a singing background. First hand, maybe they are singers, not actors, but because of the stage work and because of a lot of practice and hard work, they become great actors also. I had to ask Mira, who is a great singer, if she's gonna miss the singing part. Hello, Mira, how are you? Hello, I'm good. <laughs> good. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, you're playing Annika in this uh, show, this theater. Mm -hmm. and. Because we have worked together before, I know that you are a great singer, but that's not so much singing in this uh, in this theater. No. A little bit. Yeah. So, uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, I'm okay with that. No, no, I'm, I love acting just as much as, as, as singing. And as I, long as you sometimes can do both, right? Yeah. Yeah. I like when it's some room for singing as well, or music in a musical theatre play, but I don't have to be the one singing it. Ah, okay. I just want it to be there. Oh, great. Mm. Are you looking forward to the show? Very much. Yeah. Very much since uh, since this presentation. Yeah, yeah, it seems fun. Very much fun and well thought through and uh, I'm super excited. Thanks. Thank you. And I think we all think like that because the main thing is that the show is good, that the total is good, that the audience are having a good time and maybe be moved by the story. And then it doesn't matter what part you have in the show, if you're the carpenter of the scenography or if you're having the lead part. We all work together to make the show, the theater, the total as good as possible. I worked at this theater a year ago I was the rehearsal pianist and the vocal coach, but also the band leader, because then it was live music, on a musical called Min Ven Fascisten, My Friend the Fascist, or something like that. A humoristic show that was mainly about prejudice, I think. Not that it was a leading role in that musical. There were seven people on the stage and all were involved all the time. But the main character of that uh, musical was Petter. Hi, Peter. Hello. Long time no looking. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, yeah, we worked together last year, and then you had the main character, you can say, in a musical. Yeah, my friend the fascist. Yeah, and a lot of singing parts. Are you going to miss the singing in this Yeah, theater? I thought it was supposed to be more in this one. I thought so too. Yeah. At least more spread out. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not going to miss it, uh, since we're going to sing a lot. After this production, oh, so we will do the musical. As long as you can do both theater and yeah. singing, yeah, you're, you're happy. No, it doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Like now, the last uh, show I did was no singing at all. No singing at all. No. And I did not miss it. No. Do you miss it now? Uh, Are you longing for it? Mm, yeah. It, no, I'm not longing for it because I'm going to do it uh, during Christmas and stuff. Ah, nice. Cool. So uh, everything's fine. So that is what I'm going to work with for the next eight weeks, except for a break uh, for Christmas. What have I done now the last period? Well, first of all, my studio is a mess. It's totally chaotic in here. Uh, I just uh, made a new studio desk. 
which I will show you. Maybe we should do a studio tour, maybe in two parts, because I want to show you why I use things, not only what I have. I want to show you why I have done this and this connection and have this thing so I can show you how and when I use it. One reason I made a studio desk is that it's going to act like a cockpit for my studio. I want to be able to control as many things as possible from that position. I will show you in another video. I also released my third EP for this year. I made three EPs and one single. And the response from my friends have been good. So I'm happy with that. The next EP, I hope, will come out in February. But so far this year, three EPs and one single. I put a link uh, somewhere. I hope it works. I also made a video for my choir because we can't have concerts in this lockdown. When we don't have concert, we don't have anything to work for. We stopped our rehearsals about seven, eight weeks ago. We, we did start the autumn with rehearsals, with restrictions. We sat apart singing, uh, but we couldn't do it anymore with this lockdown. So I took every singer in the choir, one by one, coming into my studio and singing their part on one of the songs. And then I mixed it and produced it in a couple of ways and made a video, made the music video. Um, I don't know if I can manage to do this card thing, but if it works, you can click on the card. And if it doesn't work, you can click on the link down below and you will see that. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and hit the like button if you like it, because that gives me the energy to make more videos. The Swedish word of today, pipi long stocking, stocking, a stocking. In Swedish, that is strumpa. Strumpa. Roger that.